Hey, this is John Chavez, and welcome to the Silent Barn in Ridgewood, Queens, New York. No, this is clean. Keep it straight. Brooklyn's across the street. Come on in, dude. You can see there's a pretty big show tonight for people in various levels of uh, getting the house ready to go. Dan Deacon and Death Set and four other bands are playing tonight at the barn, which is very exciting. This is a uh, this is Nick Zirko. This is this is one of our roommates. There's a uh, four full-time residents of Silent Barn. Here's here's G. Lucas Crane, <laughs> roommate extraordinaire. <laughs> Lu- oh. Lucas is an artist. Hey guys. Everyone who lives here is playing like plays in bands or does art and like uses kind of the sp- uses the space to the full potential. Yeah, this is Lucas's room. Uh, it's got this gnarly yarn dripping. I think it's like guts. It's guts. It's Nick's room. He's got books and VHS tapes. And it's also very blue. This is my bedroom. I run a booking agency and uh, it doubles as an office. Now we're going out to the big room. So yeah, this is the big room. This is where parties happen. Uh, it's kind of simultaneously like the laundry room slash the kitchen slash our living room. A lot of the paintings that are up on the wall are brand new. Like when we moved in, there was completely different art up. We tried to have uh, like artists and local people around who like painting stuff come and just decorate the walls. This bathroom is totally covered with art by, made by the same dude uh, who did the art in my room. It's really funny because we had a really terrible graffiti problem here for the longest time. Like anytime we did a show, like all any white wall got totally covered in just huge tags and they were really ugly tags. Like when we got the idea of putting up super busy art, we're like, no one's gonna tag busy art. And for a month and a half no one did until the other day someone told us to awaken our subconscious. It was really awesome of them because we weren't awake before. Here's Todd P. Todd P is a man of mystery, international show promoter. Uh, we usually end up having two shows a week, and like Todd is responsible for probably a little bit more than half of them, but then we do uh, a bunch ourselves as well. And Todd has Todd has his own thing going on. He th- throws shows at warehouses and venues all over Brooklyn, and uh, his shows are always super fun because they bring out a lot of people. We've had lots of pretty gnarly and amazing shows go down at the barn since uh, people get really excited uh, in these in these times to like be playing a venue that is simultaneously all ages and open to kids and has you know beers if you want to have it. So we've been able um, we've been pretty lucky since we moved in having some amazing shows. We had this crazy bill where it's. Um, Deer Hunter, Awesome Color, Dirty Projectors, and Black Moth Super Rainbow played together. That show was nuts because Bradford from Deer Hunter got a blowjob from one of his bandmates on the kitchen counter during the show. And no one believed it happened, and then we put a picture of it on our MySpace page as our photo, and it was like labeled like Bradford getting blown, and like it still is like this weird, like legendary, like did it happen thing. You know, believe what you want. I think it happened. Um, we have the basement set up as a recording studio slash practice space during the day. It's nice to hang out down here during the shows too because the main room gets super hot. You'll probably find all of us hanging out down here during tonight's show at some point. <laughs> Did you hear that? Rat. They're, they come from over there. I didn't want to, I didn't want to put this on the internet. But uh, there's this kind of huge dirt chamber that runs under the house. And uh, I'm really, really afraid of him. Well, thanks for coming by Silent Barn. My name's John, and uh, see you.
see you later. Come to a party sometime. I saw that movie Ratatouille the other day, and there's this fucked up scene where the ceiling falls down and it's a rat colony and it falls all over in the middle of this lady's house and then all the rats run out the door. And I was like, I can't believe I have to be home to sign up on. There's rats all over the ceiling, there's rats all under the floors, there's rats in the walls, there's rats in my guitar, there's rats. It's not like that. But like watching that fucking movie where like rats are like cutting up food in the kitchen and being like, ugh. it was really foul. It was really gross. It was really gross. Um. They're not really that bad. They're not definitely not running over our face in the night. <laughs>